Hello, I'm Mike Russell, and welcome to Audio Go, an online platform that aggregates multiple premium audio publishers together. And remember, more publishers means more reach for you. It's self-serve, easy to use, no account manager is required. As you'll see, you can do it in just minutes, and you can start your campaigns from a minimum of just $250. So let's hop in and take a look. Here, you would usually create your own account. Now, I already have one, so I'm going to just log into my account, and you'll see some previous campaigns I've worked on here in the dashboard. If you're starting as a first-time user, the very first thing you'll want to do is go to the top right and add your billing details. On this screen, you can add a payment method in terms of a card, and you're also able to add a coupon code as well if you have one at the bottom of the screen. Now I'll return to the dashboard and click Create New Campaign up in the top right. This is where I can get started by giving my campaign a name. So let's do that. And then I'll go on and select a campaign budget, and that will be $500 in this case. You can start your campaign immediately, or you can select a date in the future to get started. And also, you can choose an end date or leave it running for infinity into the future. There's also the possibility to turn on hourly scheduling as well, which is really handy because you can choose the hours of the day and the days of the week that your audio ad is heard. So for instance, I could catch the commuters during the week like this and also catch them on their way home over here. It's a simple drag and drop action and people who are listening all day on a Saturday, for instance, that could be my selected scheduling. Uh, then it's on to creating your audio ad. Now, if you have your own, you can just simply upload it here. I'll show you that in a moment. But if you don't, we can create an audio ad for you. In 24 to 48 hours, you'll have a professional voiceover, music, all mixed together, ready to go. Just need to submit your script, select a voice type, and choose a background track. So I'm going to click Upload, and I'm going to upload the ad I already have. It uploads in just a few seconds and returns you back to the screen. You have the opportunity to play the ad, to audition it, and hear it, make sure it's there and working. I'm Mike Russell oh, there I am. Okay, so that is working. So you can select if it's in English or Spanish, and you have the opportunity to add up to three display banners. Now, here's the cool thing. If you're not very good at design and you don't have your own banners, there's a great integration with Canva right inside the AudioGo dashboard. You simply click Design with Canva, the shape of your banner, and you'll be transported to a magical interface that will allow you to design your own display banner. Now I've got my own, so I'll upload a rectangle banner. This is probably the most important one, 300 by 250 pixels, because that's the one that will display on mobile devices. I'll also upload a square banner, and while I'm at it, why not go ahead and upload a vertical banner as well? So we've got three different banners rotating, but remember that first rectangular one is very important for mobile devices. Then you've got a destination URL where you can send your listeners to when they click the image in your audio ad. And you can also do this cool retargeting of listeners with display ads to maximize the clicks. If I switch that on, it means when your listeners go to other websites, they're very likely to see your banner. It's a great way to pair your audio ads with display ads to get more clicks and drive more awareness with the click of a button. Uh, you can also click preview ad. We'll come to that a little bit later after we've defined the audience. So over here, we can search location by zip code. So let's do that and select an area in Los Angeles. I'm also going to type in maybe an area. So let's type in Westchester in New York and bring that in. And now we've got a couple of places in there. And you'll see very shortly, the audience guide over here calculates my estimated impressions and the estimated unique listeners down here, 14.2 thousand people. Now we can obviously narrow that down by targeting listeners by device. This is great because I can select mobiles and tablets if I want to catch listeners on the go, PCs and laptops for those working from home or in an office environment, and smart speakers for those who are actually at home listening to things on their smart speakers. And obviously I can tick them all if I want to capture all. Also, there's the opportunity to target by gender here, all, female, male, and target listeners by age group. So you can tick or untick some of these age groups, and you'll see if I go ahead and do that, it's going to narrow down uh, my estimated unique listeners in the audience guide. After it's calculated all of that information, I can then go on finally and refine my audience. Um, I can say don't refine my audience at all, target everyone above, or refine by behavioral segments. And over here, if I select that, they can go in here and say, well, I want people who are into electronics, 
education and cooking and that's going to narrow my audience down further so this is a great way of targeting people by interest or also by status like for instance car owners employed engaged farmers and more there are over 60 different interests and statuses to choose from you can also target people inside the dashboard by their own streamed content now this can be particularly handy if you know the type of music or podcasts that people are listening to that you're interested in you can select either music or talk and podcast. So for music genres, I could actually go ahead and say, well, target only people who listen to classic rock and country music. Or I could go to talk and podcast and select the topics from business to comedy to controversial, kids and family, leisure and news as well. It's all available to me. You can select either behavioral segments or streamed content. Once this has all been calculated for me in my audience guide and displayed, I'm happy with the amount of people that are going to potentially hear my ad and the unique listeners that are going to get to hear my audio ad, I can then go ahead and schedule the campaign. But before I do that, let's return back to that preview ad where I can actually preview how the ad will sound on a premium audio publisher. Hello. And there you go. It works really well. Now I can also share a preview link with that copies to my clipboard so I can share it with colleagues or my boss so they can hear and visualize exactly how the audio ad is going to work out. When you're happy with all that, schedule the campaign and it is set and ready to go. And that literally took a matter of minutes. Now in the audio go campaign dashboard here, we actually have the ability to stop the campaign if we want and of course restart the campaign if we need to. And there's other features such as exporting the campaign, duplicating the campaign and even editing our original campaign. But it doesn't stop there. You get deep insights and analytics. And if we look at a previous campaign that I was running, you'll see here daily trend of listeners. You'll see listeners reach, total clicks that came through, age breakdown, gender breakdown, streamed content breakdown, and so much more as well. Not only that, up at the top, you have the opportunity to export a report in a nice PDF fashion. So you can send it to your boss or another colleague that you're working with. You can also duplicate that campaign again and start from scratch. So there you go. AudioGo is a platform that aggregates premium audio publishers never available before. It's self-serve, so easy to use. You can get deep analytics and also really micro-target in on the kind of people you want to reach. Why don't you get started now?